try that again. Can you believe all these leaves came from just our yard? That's as big as our car. What? The pile of leaves is as big as our car. Don't lose your hat. Visit with Grandpa Bishop. Hunter, where are you going? Hey, look at this. Check this out. What is it? Eagle. Hunter, what does the chicken say? Chicken. Uh oh. And run, run oh, I remember that. Do it again. Cool. Look this way. I know what the pig say. <laughs> Hunter, can you give the goat a kiss? Yeah, give the goat a hug. Brandon? Hi! Wee! Yeah, he did. What's that? Did he get up there himself? Or did... Let's see. Let's take a look at the devastation. Um, this all happened on our street. 
during a snowstorm of October 22nd. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the commentary, Hunter. You can see how devastated all the trees in the neighborhood were. Let's go take a look at our own backyard. And this is how our neighbors across the street fared. No parking space for them. And our next door neighbors have already started chopping things down. I'm putting them in a pile. Let's go take a look at our own devastation in the backyard. Well, here's our tree. And here's part of our tree. You can see that fell onto this limb. Of course, I thought this entire limb would fall, but only the last 10 feet of that second limb fell, and there she was, right there on the ground. Another parts of branches hanging down. But what happened was we had such an early snowfall, and leaves on many of the trees had not yet fallen, so they caught and held a huge amount of snow on the leaves themselves. Dragons uh, carried so much weight, ripped branches off the trees uh, all over town, or without power as well. This branch right here was had landed partially on the roof, partially on our power line right there, so I had to pick it up and move it off the power line and drag it off the roof. Last night you could step outside and hear what sounded to be like fireworks as branches broke all over town. You could just every minute or so hear this big crack. Well, here's our neighbors to off of our backyard. This is their backyard. Our next door neighbor over here has a branch that's pretty much broken off. Pretty impressive, I gotta tell you. About 150,000 homes in the Kansas City metro, metro area are without power. What's wrong, Brent Hunter? Huh? Are you cold? Are you cold? Let's go inside! It's freezing cold. Yeah. Do you see our, our tree? What? Our bushes are flattened here too. What's that? My parents were in town and just drove off to get back to Milwaukee, I'm sure. Can't wait to get <laughs> this town behind them. Well, it's one way to avoid raking, just rip the whole branches right off the tree. Hey Brandon, can you wave to me? How you doing, Dad? Where are you? Hey, great. Look at this beautiful yard. It's all camp up. Where'd you go last? Where'd you get back from last Got night? Back from Santa Barbara. Oh, to this, back huh? To Tustin, Pasadena. We had a foot of snow. South Pasadena. And he comes home and he sees West this. Malibu, and it's burning up. So we had a foot of snow last night. This is the aftermath of this storm. Tree limbs everywhere. What? I'm just taking footage. Standing on mother and dad's porch. This is the next day. We had a foot of snow last night. Mother and dad flew in from San Diego, California, Santa Barbara. They were visiting. And this is what they came home to last night. Carnage everywhere. 
foot of snow did this. Now it's about 50 degrees. At our house, we're still without power. Waiting to see if it's going to come on. Guess we do not need to trim our trees anymore. The weight of the snow and the leaves, the fall leaves, which have not fallen yet, caused all this. The cable line, if you can see it over there, this tree's brought down that cable line. We still are getting some reception, however, so at least we're not taking the whole thing out. Now we get to begin the cleanup. So excited. We'll start here.